so we're done with form, so I'm gonna grab that for me and stick it over here. Okay, so I know you said you texted me some pictures. Yes. So I just want to look at those really quick first. Um, so the first one is how I normally do my brows, but I don't think I'm very good at it. Um, the second one, or I guess the first one is what I want, and the second one's how I do my brows normally. Okay, perfect. So. Um, and I'm gonna show this to you guys too. So this is the pictures of how she normally fills them in. Okay, and then this is, this, these are brow goals. Brow goals, yes. Okay, love. So, um, so the main thing I'm seeing is, um, A, that this is kind of like a straighter body of the brow, and then the tail is kind of more curvy. Mm -hmm. Instead of having it be kind of straighter and more at an angle, it's kind of like a, a scoop mm -hmm. tail. Um, I will try drawing that on you. The only thing that I'll mention is that sometimes if the tail curves too much, it actually cuts off your face from the side view, but, oh, but let's you. try it. Let's play with it. Yeah, let's um, do it. But definitely your tops, um, your brow overall is more rounded in these pictures. So I think even just getting a little bit more of an arch, mm -hmm. I think you're going to feel really happy about life. Definitely. I, and <laughs> the, I totally trust you. Too. And the only other thing I'll say is that the way that these are filled in, it is pretty pigmented. Yeah. Um, and so I'm just wanting to clarify that with, with microblading, um, it does, it's going to look, this looks more like a pencil and microblading the heel is going to look more like a powder. Yeah. But so for example, how these are filled in, um, this look is, is a tiny, tiny bit less pigmented than this, but um, this is really, well, okay, mine are microbladed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but do you see the difference between like this and this? Like this is just a little bit like, I totally do. Harsh? Okay. Yeah. And I like yours more. Just want to make sure. I have yeah. people every once in a while who do Anastasia dip brow and even after two touch-ups, they're like, they're just not dark enough. And I'm like, um, oh, you wanted Sharpie brows? Sorry, I don't give those. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyways, that was mistakes my first six months, let me tell you, it did happen. So now I've just learned to let try to let people better know how what to expect. For sure. So just want to make sure so that, yes. you know, we, you can be happy. I want to make sure I can make you happy. So. Yes. Okay. Um, One thing I did want to say is yeah. I do want the beginning of the brow to be lighter like, so, oh, like okay. so more natural okay. looking, you know? So Love. it's not like, because like you're saying, the ones that I do are like sharp. So see how these are, so this is kind of more of an ombre brow, where it's kind of got that texture in the front. So I want to also ask, um, so part of this being an ombre brow also means that, that it's pretty heavy in the side area, so it's really defined. Like this is a really nice defined edge. It doesn't um, have to be so dramatic. Okay, yeah. perfect. But the main thing is keeping it soft in the center. Yeah, I just don't want it to be like big, blocky, which I don't think so you would do So almost maybe a little bit more rounded and natural in the center. Yeah. Love. Okay. And um, aside from making sure we get that arch in there, possibly a little bit more curved edges and softer in the center, was there any other thing specifically about this picture that we want to make sure to emulate? Okay. Perfect. Yes. <laughs>